Hi friends, it's Kamal and you are watching Maths by Jajoria. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, so let's start. In this video, I will explain factorizing quadratic equations when the coefficient of the x square is not equal to 1. So I explain to you what this means. In quadratic equations, what it can be write as say a x square plus b x plus c and this is where a b and c are numbers a is called the coefficient of x square b is the coefficient of x and this c is constant which is like number okay so there is a one example here of quadratic equation which is 6x square plus 13x uh, plus 6 and in here <coughs> you have uh, 6 13 and 6 again here okay and these are the numbers and you can also say that 6 here is a like coefficient okay you can say from here b here is 13 and c here is 6 okay is this clear so far okay so you know the when the coefficient of x square is not equal to 1 so anything is more than 1 okay great now let's move on to uh, this equation uh, we will solve this equation now quadratic equation this e quadratic equation we will solve so <clears throat> to factorize this equation first what we do is we multiply this coefficient, which is uh, your uh, a, with the c, and see what it comes out. So you see here, the 6 multiplied 6 is 36. So we need to find two numbers. We need to find two numbers. Where product of that number is 36 to achieve this. And when sum of that number, that should be 13. This one, which is B, coefficient B. Okay? Now, what num that number can be? So, I got it here for you. If you multiply 4 with 9, that gives you 36. Yeah? And also, when you add that number, that will give you 13 okay <clears throat> to solve this quadratic equation we got here 4 plus 9 which is 13 is giving us 13 here and also is giving us 36 which we multiply that's above here 6 and 6 here okay so how we can write this equation to simplify that, that would be 6x square. Then you got 4 here, so that got 4x plus 9x and plus 6. Okay, okay, so far, right. Now we can take these sides. To simplify further how we can write this by using the bracket and how we can write this by using the brackets so this can be written as 2x then 3x here plus 
okay so i can explain you here again here yeah, how did we get this so we worked on 6x squared plus 4x okay and then we got here 2x and in the bracket we have 3x plus 2 so if you open that again that will give you 6x squared plus 4x okay that's clear so far yeah then move on to the next bit you've got plus sign here you take three out and then <clears throat> you can solve the rest okay so you got 9x plus 6 here you got 3x 3 here and in the bracket you got 3x plus 2 if you open this expression again that will give you 9x plus 6 right now one thing bear in mind that these two brackets here it should be same if you're getting something different then there's something somewhere you have made mistake so these should be same like 3x here 3x plus 2 and here 3x plus 2 okay and th this bit is very important so please don't forget Now rewrite this again. We got here 2x plus 3 and then 3x plus 2. <clears throat> so that is your answer. Okay, I hope you understand this. I'm going to move on further now with the, another example. Uh, you can say exam type questions. Okay. So let's solve. Sometimes you get this kind of question in the exams as well. The question here, the quadratic equation here is 6x squared minus 7x minus 3. Okay. Now again, <clears throat> you need to find the product of, in this case, would be this coefficient again same thing with this and what that will give you 6 multiply 3 here is minus 3 so you need to write minus 3 here please don't forget okay above here we didn't write anything because it was positive plus plus so everything was plus here that's why we just presume that everything is plus however if you have any minus sign you need to consider that please okay so you multiply 6 with minus 3 that gives you minus 18 so now the product of these two numbers is minus 18 so this is what we have to achieve now okay so product of these two number is minus 18 okay and the sum what that would be yes you're guessing right we have to get here minus 7. Okay. So that we need to achieve minus 7. I write in red so you know you don't understand that then. So product of minus eight, product of these two numbers, the minus 18, this is what you have to achieve, and then sum of these numbers minus 7. Clear so far? Right. Now move on how we can get that number so the number here the numbers here is 2 multiply minus 9 that is minus 18 and when you add these numbers i write here plus 2 but that makes it easier for you so the plus 2 minus 9 that will give you minus 7 clear and that makes it easier for you as well to understand that okay so now <clears throat> We're going to write this equation again here. So we got here 6x squared plus 2x minus 9x minus 3. Okay. Now this is, this is the equation we get. 
now again we have to solve this to solve this <clears throat> how we can do that so we can take 2x out okay and that will give us 3x plus 1 okay now <clears throat> when we solve minus 9 x and minus 3 this is somewhere i would just like to emphasize uh, some of the rules here as you know that if you have any minus sign and you multiply that minus with minus no so minus number can be anything number or alphabet and if there's another one is minus you multiply that that gives you plus sign okay so please bear in mind this make it red as well so that you understand that all right now <clears throat> simplify this again that will give us so we take minus 3x here 3 sorry not x minus 3 so to achieve minus 9x if you multiply if you reverse it that will be 3x okay so if you open that one that will give you minus 9x all right so this is where you know that is correct then you need to give a sign here plus because you have minus outside and one so when you multiply minus three and with this that will give you minus three i hope you understand this and this is the exam questions this is where the student get confused so if you if your idea is clear if the concept is clear about when you have anything any number minus in minus you multiply that with minus that gives you plus sign so that equation will be clear to you okay now again this is simple now you just write down this as a one so you can write 3x plus 1 and you can also write 2x here and minus 3 so you got put in brackets 2x minus 3 one thing also i would like to tell that you can write some some student think that uh, why i'm writing